Hodgson takes his pass. From pretty passing Relays to, Higgins. to glamorous goals. Let's go, he scores! For most Canadians, hockey is in our blood. Whether you're watching from the comfort of your couch or driving the kids to the rink at 5 a.m., there's just something about Canada's game. He scores! And from a very early age, kids take to the ice with the dream of winning a Stanley Cup. But it can come at a cost. I had like probably half a dozen CAT scans and MRIs and different things done where uh, they just couldn't see anything. There was nothing wrong. But I, I felt terrible. I felt car sick all day. I felt dizzy. He's a familiar face in Victoria. Jeff Cortnell was born here, played WHL hockey here, and after 17 years in the NHL, still calls the South Island home. But he was forced to retire after a concussion ended his career. Jeff Cortnell, the winning goal! I missed uh, 60 games the first year and came back in the playoffs and, and just didn't feel completely 100%. Uh, and then continued on uh, the next year and started the following season. But just eight games into that season, he was hit in the head again, and that was it. And because concussions can happen in minor hockey just as easily as the NHL, Cortnell's getting the word out there that hits or blows to the head shouldn't be taken lightly. Try to help kids here in Victoria and anywhere else in BC or even across Canada to understand how important it is that if you do get a concussion that you know you definitely get off the ice uh, take 10 days to make sure that you're symptom free. According to Hockey Canada, concussions are caused by an indirect or direct force to the head, neck or anywhere else on the body. And symptoms include dizziness, fatigue, nausea, vomiting and plenty of others. Jack Rakwalski plays midget A hockey in Saanich. The 16-year-old was out for a month and a half after being hit at a hockey camp, ending up with a concussion. Uh, I was seeing stars. I was pretty dizzy. My head was hurting a lot. Yeah, I was just it was losing my balance sometimes. It wasn't fun. Getting into position, did he turn, get hit? Oh, oh yeah. He, he says with big names like Sidney Crosby in the wow. news and the story of the Stars' long road to recovery, more and more young hockey players know they can't rush back to playing. Every time I, I try to get back, it started hurting my head again, so I just took my time and tried to get back as healthy as I could. And Cortnell says the message is starting to get through. When he was knocked out and hauled away on a stretcher, he played four days later, and he's hoping those days are gone. Now I think there is a lot more awareness as far as maybe getting him right away to the hospital or to a doctor and then not letting them come back. That's, that's the key because the key is when you get a concussion is not doing exercise or getting hit again within the next two to three weeks. Well, the minute your son has any type of symptoms, we don't see that kid for 10 days. I mean, and they don't come back unless they have a doctor's note approved and it has to go to our safety person on each team. Uh, but yeah, everybody's really, really serious about it now. After 12 years of suffering from concussion symptoms, Jeff Cornell is doing much better. He says he considers himself one of the lucky ones thanks to brainwave optimization treatment. It's relatively new to Victoria and won Cornell credits for his improved health. In Victoria, I'm Nikki E. Winishan for The Daily.